Okay, today we're going to have some Photoshop fun. We're going to put an energy ball into the hand in a stock image. Uh, so you can see how some of these advanced uh, Photoshop techniques are used to put this type of an image together. And see that uh, it's, it's really not as, as difficult as it would look at first. And we'll go through all the steps here. All right, first I'm going to get started. I'm going to open up a new file. It's going to be 1920 by 1080, 300 pixels per inch, and 8 bits so that I can use all the proper effects that I will be implementing into this project. All right, so I'm going to create the element first. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make myself a nice black background to work on. And then I'm going to make another layer, uh, another black background, so that I can put a lens flare on top of it. And you'll see I'll go to Filter, Render lens flare, and then I think I'm going to choose a 35 millimeter prime lens flare just for this one because it's nice and soft and circular everywhere. Uh, it doesn't have any of the hard edges like some of the other ones. Oh, sorry, a 50 to 300 millimeter zoom lens I'm going to choose. Excuse me, not a 35 millimeter, but a the other zoom lens. I'll, I'll do that again. I didn't like that at first. I was at 100%. It was a little bit too bright. So I'm going to take that down to 70%, that 50 to 300 millimeter zoom lens down to 70%. And that looks a lot better. It's a lot smaller. It doesn't cut off at the top of the project there, the, the canvas, I guess I should say, at the top there. So now I'm going to go through. I'm going to put in some of this energy that you've seen before. And that's pretty easy. I'm just going to use some brushes that I downloaded uh, and these ones that I'm using are free I got them off of DeviantArt if I can remember who I downloaded them from I will put a link below the video here and I'm going to use an, I'm going to make it a white brush a new layer all right so we're putting this on a new layer I'm going to use a white brush so I can color balance it later and make it any color I wish uh, so so now I'm just uh, I, I placed it once over there and I'm using the lens flare as the central point of this ball of energy so you can kind of see I'm building my brushes around that rotating them and placing them around and I use three different brushes there just kind of overlapping each other on the same layer all white it's, it's important that it's white so that you can change the color that makes it customizable now you see I'm doing my color balance uh, you could also do this with a curves adjustment but I, I like to use the color balance it gives me a little tighter control on some things uh, and as you see, I'm just I'm just working in, dialing that in, so it's nice and green. I'm gonna go through my highlights here now, so it nice it pops that green in, in a very hot way. You can see there, it's almost burning, right? It's just so bright in the center. And there you have uh, most of the element. Now I'm gonna go through and make a a uh, layer mask, and I'm gonna use a black brush and just paint out parts of the image that I don't need. Uh, but it, it's still there, uh, just just masked. It's non-destructive editing, something everyone should know about. I'm going to go to my other layer, my uh, brush that had the energy brushes on it. I'm going to just brush out some of those hard edges, feather it out a little bit so it looks nice and organic. Make sure it doesn't touch the top of the canvas any longer. Get rid of those hard edges. And I'm going to save my my uh, my work here, constantly saving before I merge. Oh, sorry. I'm going to do a level adjustment before I do that as well. So I'm going to crush the blacks, bring out the highlights, just to make it a little darker, a little more crunchy, I guess you could say. Now I'm going to go through and merge my layers. So I just have one element to work with. Obviously, I'm not going to use the background because I don't want that. I'm going to bring in the uh, stock image. Put it over the element. Bring it all the way to the left of my canvas. Okay, and then I'm going to start selecting around the hand using my mag magnetic lasso tool to start with, and then probably move on to my polygon lasso tool to refine it a little bit later. Uh, I'm not going to show that. I'm going to skip that because it's kind of dull and boring to watch that. So we'll just skip to the point after a little bit of this. I'll skip to the point where I've already selected all of the hand. All right, and I'm going to go to a hide all layer mask, 
And then I'm just going to brush back in the part that I've selected with a white brush, a soft white brush, just putting it back into the image. And then I'm going to deselect and brush in the rest of the arm because it's I didn't need to select it. It's a very simple piece of uh, geometry there to just brush back in. Just put it back in. There's a little bit of the background coming through when I do this, but I'll, I'll clean that up with relative ease. <clears throat> See, I'm put some of the background in there. Have something to for the uh, glow to affect in the background as well as the foreground, just just to have something there. There you go. And then I'm going to duplicate that hand and put one below uh, so that I can have some of the background detail and just re use my layer mask to remove the uh, that detail from the uppermost one. So now you can kind of see behind that energy ball that there's a little bit of the background kind of poking out on the left side there. Just to give it a little more depth. I'll just make sure everything is, uh, is, is masked properly here. Now I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to take a small brush and just remove all of that black halo around the bracelets and around the fingers. Uh, on the part of the forearm, it doesn't matter as much because there's not a lot of uh, bright uh, elements going on there. So just the most crucial areas are going to have the black masked all the way down to the skin or to the bracelets, uh, whatever is on the arm there. You see, I'm going to get a nice small brush, get very close. Maybe even cutting off a little bit of the skin and a little bit of the bracelet just to make sure that that black is gone. You see it feathers just a little bit on the edge. A little bit of it is being removed, but that's okay. That's not going to be noticeable. So I'm just going to go around the whole hand with a soft black brush and do that. And then you see I've skipped ahead, so I've already done that. So you don't have to watch me trace around every single finger with a masking it out. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to use a green soft green brush. I'm going to color in all of the highlights with this green brush. All the highlights on the skin is just going to be are just going to be uh, colored in. Now that I got the edge, kind of make it bigger, so I'm not really afraid of messing up. Now that I can have that buffer area. All right, and I've skipped ahead again, and you see, I've just all the highlights have been colored in with that green brush. And I'm going to turn the blending layer of that onto hue. I, I did that coloring on a separate layer, as you can see in the bottom right corner. And put it on hue so it has a nice soft kind of feeling over the arm. All right, some of it doesn't feel right, so I'm going to go through and erase some of the parts that just are kind of feeling wrong. I think I'll remove some of that on the back of the hand a little bit later. It's a bit harsh. So anything that just is feels over the top. I just I just remove it. Alright, now this is where we get our graphic tablets. Uh, and I mean you don't need it, but it, it's it was a lot easier with it uh, than trying to make those curves with a mouse to pain. So I'll get a going to get a new layer and draw the uh, energy trails that go around the fingers. Uh, and here I'm using my graphite tablet to just brush them in and remember to make it a white brush again so that we can use the color balance or curves, whichever you prefer, to colorize them later uh, to any color. So I could change this image immediately to whatever color I like. And if you remember at the beginning, I saved the uh, energy ball as its own document, uh, its own Photoshop document, so that I could go back and change that color as well. 
All right, so I'm just using my Graphar tablet and drawing in some of those curves on its own layer. Now I'm going to go to another new layer and draw the energy trail that goes through the arm. And I'm doing this because I use a ripple effect on it later on, and I use different uh, levels on the effect to uh, for different areas. So the fingers get uh, slightly less rippled in on the forearm, so I need to have two different layers to do that. So now I'm going to go through and erase all of the uh, parts that I don't need. So I want it to kind of go behind uh, and in front of the arm. So I'm just going to go through with a soft eraser and just erase the parts that, uh, that I don't need. So it's going to be every other loop is going to be erased. You see I missed some of it on the first loop there. I'll go back and get it though. Just a nice soft eraser so that it, not a hard eraser, so that it kind of feels like it floats behind the arm. I'm going to do the same thing on the fingers. I'm going to go through and just every other loop is going to be erased with a soft eraser to give it that feeling of depth. And I'm also going to go on all the tips of these and just make them nice and soft so that they feel more natural, more more organic than the abrupt stop of that uh, brush. Feel more like wisps of smoke at this point to, to oh, at least at the tops there. Just give it that feeling, something a little more organic than that abrupt stop. Nice soft eraser and just kind of short strokes removing it. There we go. And then what I'm also going to do is go through with my eraser and remove all the hard edges on all of these energy trails. As you see now, they're kind of really thick and bright, and they end abruptly at the edges. So I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to soften those edges. Just make them nice and soft. Get rid of all that unnecessary edges so that the center is nice and bright, and the edges are kind of fading away kind of in the way like a real light source would react. And the center, it's, it's, it's bright, and at the edges, it's kind of feathering out. Just remove that. So uh, again, to give that more of an organic feeling, and I skipped ahead again. So you see, I did that to all the edges. I just went through and softened up all the edges. Now I'm going to go take a circular brush, zero hardness, again white. I'm going to make some of those energy orbs at the, uh, at the tips of those trails of energy. And I put the opacity of my brush down to 40. And I'm going to just click once, make the brush smaller, click again, make it smaller, click again, make it smaller, click again until I get down to one pixel. And you see that that creates a nice bright center and a, fe and a, and a gradual feather outward from that center. Uh, so again, it's just a large brush, circular brush, just one click, make it a little smaller, another click, make it a little smaller, and another click until you get that nice uh, feathery orb. I'm going to go through and do my color balance to make all of those energy trails a nice, healthy green. And as you see now, it's affecting all of my layers below the adjustment layer, but that's okay. I can use the layer mask that comes readily with the adjustment layer to mask out those areas that I do not want to have the color balance affecting. Um, And you see I'm going to clean it up. Now that you, I've seen what my color balance does, I'm going to clean up those energy trails just a little bit more. As I see that the edges are still a bit hard in some places. So I'm going to go through and just, just keep erasing them down with a soft eraser until they feel, uh, until they just feel right. And you see I notice that spot now. Remove that. And at some points, the energy trails will get very thin and almost non-existent, but that's okay. It kind of gives it that feeling like it could be real. And 
and see, just gotta make it nice and soft. Nice and soft everywhere. Alright, now I've gone through to the layer mask and I'm gonna use a black brush and just brush out the parts that I do not want that color balance to affect, like that uh, green energy orb. I don't want it to affect that. It messes up the color balance I already have done on it in the past. I'm just gonna go in and erase that with a, uh, with using the layer mask and I'm also going to remove that green from the arm because it just it, it's too intense it just I need to take it off the arm too much so remove that remove that I'm leaving it on some parts of the hand like the highlights this, this the parts that I want to be the brightest I leave that uh, color balance affecting that uh, but you see on like the backs of the fingers I don't want that to be green I want that to be closer to black I mean, it isn't quite black, but I want it to be more black than that color balance is allowing. So I'm just brushing that out. You see, and now you can see like there's a bright points, and it's just kind of going in a, in a gradient down to a darker edge around the finger, shadowing behind shadows behind the fingers. Uh, and now I'm going to get very close and remove as much of that color balance I can from the orb element uh, behind the hand because I don't want that to be affected at all as you see there it's, it's kind of giving it kind of a nasty haze I just want to get rid of that all right now I'm going to go and do a ripple effect on my energy trails and I'm going to turn it up to like 200 almost 300 uh, percent that one was 226 percent turn it up and you see how it gives it the nice electrifying feeling. Now I'm going to go over to the other layer with the arm ripple, with the arm trails, and I'm going to turn that one up even higher since it's bigger and it gives it that nice electrifying feeling, almost like a lightning coming off of a Tesla coil. It looks very, very electric. All right, and that's pretty much the entire effect there. Now I'm just going to go through just to do a curves adjustment, bring out some of the highlights, darken some of the shadows, you know, and that's just going to be the last thing I do. This, uh, there's a few more things I could do, like there's some parts of the mask I didn't get quite perfect for the tutorial version, uh, maybe clean up a little bit of the orb a little bit more, there's a little part at the very top of the orb that could be cleaned up, but uh, that's just, that's the gist of it, if you, if you in your version, maybe just do a little more cleaning up with your layer mask.